pigs eat a lot, huh? <laughs> With a body like that, how can you walk outside? It's so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm Oji Tengoku, meaning the Prince of Heaven. What a name? Shut up. I like it. And this is my memory from high school. As expected of a fat, ugly prince, it suits you to stay like that for the rest of your life, unable to get a girlfriend. <laughs> At the time, I was overweight and had no confidence in myself. So I was nicknamed Fat Ugly Prince and made fun of. The person who started it was her, Mio Akusho. And being alone and having only food by his side, Fat Ugly Prince was summoned to heaven. That's how your life will end. <laughs> Three, two, one more time. Just kidding. Ten more times. Uh, ten more times? You're a demon. And this is me now. I'm now called the Spartan Prince. This is just how I am. <laughs> I was made fun of a lot when I was in high school, so I decided to go on a diet as soon as I finished my university entrance exam. At first, I didn't do well on my own, but after I started going to the gym, things changed dramatically. Whoa, that's amazing! There's a faint line on what was my plump stomach! By the time I graduated from uni, I had a muscular body. I became so addicted to muscle training that I became a trainer. And done! You did well! Thank you for your hard work! <sighs> Ew. I really want to praise myself from the bottom of my heart. Thanks to you, I was able to get through today as well. Thank you. It's tough when you're doing it, but it definitely pays off. What I enjoy about this job is seeing the changes in our customers, but... I can't believe you're such a wonderful person, and yet has never had a girlfriend. Hey, that's... Uh, I can't say anything back. That's right. I was so addicted to muscle training that I had no time for romance at all. Before I knew it, I was already 25. Well, I heard that you used to be chubby. You still have long life ahead. Do your best. By the way, it's well known at this gym that I used to be overweight. In the end, I couldn't say anything back, so I worked out to forget what he said. But actually, I have a feeling something good is happening to me. Hello, Tengoku-san. This is Wakaba Shina, one of her customers. Recently, her job was transferred to this area where her parents live, and she rejoined this gym. Shina-san is three years older than me, and we both like cafes, so we hit it off and often go to cafes together. Sorry, did I keep you waiting? No, no. I just came early because I was looking forward to it so much. Let's go. Wow, wow, this interior, the, the, the perfection of this 3D latte art, absolute ecstasy. <sighs> it, it's a waste to drink it, I can't. <sighs> oh, dear customers, your nosebleed is on top of the latte art, is that okay? It's been about an hour already, too, so I think it's time you drink it up. Ah, that was awesome. We thoroughly enjoyed the cafe and left feeling satisfied. Actually, I've always wanted to go to that cafe, but it was too cute for me, so I didn't have the courage to go alone. Thank you for coming with me, Tengoku-san. Oh, what? It wouldn't look weird at all even if you went there alone. That would be so cute! Huh? Cute? Uh, uh well, uh, forget it. Sorry. Oh, my true feelings came out. There was a warm but awkward atmosphere between me and Shina-san. I'm not cute. Huh? I wonder why, even though she's so beautiful, Shina-san sometimes becomes so pessimistic. But I'm glad that I was able to become friends with you like this. I wonder if it would be like this to go on a date with a boyfriend. <laughs> Shina-san, 
Although she looked very embarrassed, my heart skipped a beat seeing her smile. <laughs> See you at the gym then. Good night, Tengok-san. Oh, please wait, Shina-san. Huh? I came back to myself and remembered the important thing I wanted to tell her today. Would you like to go eat somewhere other than a cafe next time? There is a restaurant I want to go to. Yes, let's do that. I'm looking forward to it. Well then. With that, Shina-san waved her hand and entered the ticket gate. Yeah, 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 baby! After all, Shina-san and I are kind of good, right? It's not a virgin's misunderstanding, right? All right, I'll tell her how I feel at the next meal. I clenched my fist and strengthened my resolve. What led you to become a fitness trainer? The next day, I was offered an interview for a certain show. At first, I tried dieting on my own because I wanted to gain confidence in myself, but I wasn't seeing any results, and I finally developed anemia on the street. The woman who helped me at that time recommended this gym to me. I fell in love with that lady, and was trying my best to become the man worthy of her. And before I knew it, I was addicted to training. Okay, thank you. After the interview was over, and I was about to return to my work, an unexpected reunion awaited me. Hey, this is my first time at a personal gym. I wonder if I can do it? Huh? This voice? Oh, damn! So it is Mio Aksho! Aksho came to the gym with a man who appeared to be her boyfriend. We haven't seen each other since we graduated from high school. It's okay. People are 100% about looks. You and I have to keep our beauty. 100%? What does he say? Oh, shoot! They're coming! Suddenly, my eyes met Aksho. I reflexively looked away. I'm sorry, Onisa. It's our first time, but there's no one at the reception desk. What should we do? Uh, sorry. Please stay there and wait a moment. Okay. Onisa, you have amazing muscles. Your last name is the same as someone I know, but you're very different from him. Wonderful. She even gives me a wink saying that. Huh? She hasn't noticed? The relief I felt was short-lived. The guy was whispering insults on other guests. Oh, wow, look at that. That fat guy is working out with such a desperate look on his face. <laughs> He's so pathetic. <laughs> Yeah, right. No matter how hard a fat person works out, nothing will happen. There are a lot of fat people in this gym, aren't there? Sorry I made you wait. I have created a training menu for you, so let's do it right away. Hey, you can't race even this much? The guy next to you can lift this weight 50 times, you know? Uh, uh, no, no more. I... I can't do it anymore. I gave them a special training program today. <laughs> I realized that something like a beauty salon suits me better than working out, so I won't join this time. Oh, me, me neither. It wasn't much of a workout, and I think I can do this much at home. Well then, is that so? I'm sorry I couldn't help you. Thank you very much. It's a shame that they didn't join. Oh, that's such a shame. <laughs> As expected of you. Tengok-san, nice work. You choose your customers well. Oh, uh, thank you very much, Tengok-san. I found out during counseling that Aksho and the guy had the same last name. Looks like they're married. Is Aksho already married? Well, we're 25, so it's not impossible. I'm gonna work hard too! Wow! This is so delicious! Thank you for making a reservation at such a wonderful restaurant, Tengok-san. Friday of that week, I had a day off from work, 
so I made a reservation at a restaurant. It can be called a miracle that I was able to get a reservation at a trendy restaurant popular on social media on a Friday night. God must be telling me to do it. I'll say it. Shino-san, there's something I've wanted to tell you for a long time. Yes, what is it? Shino-san stops her hand and smiles at me. I take a deep breath. I love you. Please go out with me. Uh, huh? There was no response from Shina-san. I opened my eyes and looked at Shina-san. <sighs> then, there was an unexpected expression on her face. She was looking down and had a troubled look on her face. Shina-san? Sorry, I can't go out with you. A shock runs through me, like being struck by lightning. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, there is no way I could date a beauty like you, was there? Uh, no, no, that's not... B please forget about it. Uh, th this is really delicious. <sighs> I was dumped by Shina-san. I remember the taste of the food I ate after that. Well then, thank you for today. Thank you for the meal. After eating in an awkward atmosphere, we went out to go home. Just when we were thinking of parting ways... Huh? Are you Wakaba? I hear a voice calling Shina-san's name from behind me, and I turn around. Uh, Hayate? What? This guy. The man who called out to Shina was Mio's husband. Huh? Are you the fitness trainer at the gym the other day? Tengok san was it? I'm on my way home from drinking with colleagues right now. What a coincidence. I was surprised that you knew Wakaba. To call Shina-san by her first name. Are they close? Thank you very much for coming the other day. Shina-san is a member of our gym. Ah, you go to that gym too? So, have you seen her without makeup? Huh? What is he talking about all of a sudden? Well, I actually dated her a long time ago, but I was surprised. This girl is so ugly without makeup. Well, it's terrible. I thought makeup is scary. I guess you don't go to the gym without makeup. Then I guess I revealed an inconvenient truth. When I turned around, I saw Shina-san, who looked quite hurt. So you should be careful, dude. Ugh, Shina-san! Shina-san ran away. Oh la la, did I tease her too much? Ugh, I... I didn't fall in love with her just because of her appearance. You don't understand anything about her. Huh? Shina-san! I said so and immediately ran after Shina-san. What the heck? Do whatever you want, idiot. Hang on! Shina-san! When I caught up with Shina-san and grabbed her arm. Oh no, let me go. I didn't want you to know of all people. Uh, uh, Shina-san, I didn't fall in love with you just because of your looks. Huh? At my words, Shina-san turns her tearful eyes towards me. You know that I used to be fat, right? Uh, yeah. A long time ago. Do you remember helping a chubby guy who was suffering from anemia on the street? That was me! What? Are you okay? You look better now. But going on an excessive diet is not good. Uh, okay. Thank you. I would like to thank you for this. So please tell me your name. Me? I am Wakafashina. <laughs> but no need to thank me. If you want to lose weight, I recommend the gym. I go to one too and lost five kilograms. Let's do our best. I started going to the gym because of your recommendation. I wanted to be a man worthy of you. What? Thanks to you, I was able to lose weight, and now, I can enjoy my work. It's all thanks to you. 
I should have talked about this when I confessed my feelings to you. I was nervous. Sorry. No way. I'm sorry. I... I didn't notice at all. While everyone ignored me because I was fat at the time, the only one who talked to me was you, Shina-san. Since then, I've been attracted to your kind heart. But you had already left the gym, and I couldn't meet you. So I just got a job there and kept waiting. I thought it was a miracle when you joined again. As we interacted again, you were still so kind, and I was drawn to you more and more. Tengoku-san... I... I... actually love you, Tengoku-san. But since I look terrible without makeup, I thought that if you saw me, you would hate me like that person, so I... I took Shina-san's hand and spoke to her in a gentle tone. I would never hate you for that. Can I try again? Please go out with me. Yes! I'd love to! We both hugged each other gently. About half a year later... I wonder if there's something interesting on TV. Today, we're interviewing this popular fitness trainer. Let's reveal Tengok-san's secrets. Huh? Isn't this the gym near my place? And that guy is from back then. One day, Akshio noticed that the program I was on was being aired. There are many fitness trainers out there, but the reason he is so popular is this. Oh my goodness, this is the old Tengok-san. An old photo of me was shown on TV. Huh? What? Th that trainer? Was that fat, ugly prince? Akshio clings to the TV, watching intently. She still can't believe it. I've heard that your gym is flooded with inquiries from people who have heard about your changes. But it must have taken a lot of courage to publish your old photos. Yeah, but I thought that by making it public, I could encourage someone that they can change. I believe that because I used to be overweight, I can give good advice. I see. That's why in your gym, there are a lot of people who are a little chubby. Hey, what did you say? said those around us, and laughter erupted on TV. Oh, no way. I can't believe that guy became so famous and handsome. I'm home. Hey, I came home tired and there's not even a meal prepared. Huh? I also just came home from work. And besides, why do I have to cook for a skinny baldy like you? Her husband, Hayate, changed jobs just because of the higher salary. But due to overwork and stress, he became bald and extremely thin. Akshio no longer feels love for him due to his appearance. By the way, I believe you are popular with women, but I heard a rumor that you have a fiancé. Yes, she's a wonderful woman who doesn't judge people by their appearance, and she made me who I am today. You didn't have any special features other than your appearance, but now that good appearance is gone too. You have nothing. Wow, that's wonderful. Shut up, you're no different. Well, <laughs> I'm so happy right now. As for Akshu and Hayate, they got divorced. Hayate was hospitalized due to stress. It seems like he has no one to support him at times like that. Akshio, after the divorce, started targeting elites, but she was repeatedly played with, resulting in disasters. Moreover, due to her abnormal obsession with appearance, she has overspent on beauty salons and ended up carrying a huge debt. You may kiss each other now. A year and a half after the TV broadcast, today's her wedding day. Oh, gee. Yeah? When you told me that I was cute even without makeup, I became more confident in myself. Your words saved me. Thanks so much. I also love who I am now. That's all thanks to you. Thank you. And I vow to continue to be the person you love. We kissed each other. A person's appearance may be important, but what's inside is far more important. 
and I learned that to be loved by and to love others, it's important to love yourself first. I will continue to work with Wakaba to be someone I can love myself and others. Hi guys! Thank you for watching! As said in the story, a person's appearance may be important, but more than that, what's inside is far more important as well as loving yourself. I hope you guys will have a wonderful day. See you in the next video!